Islamist rebels have stormed the headquarters of the Al-Qaeda splinter group known as the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant. The raid comes shortly after the head of Al-Qaeda-linked militant group the Al-Nusra Front called for a ceasefire between rebel groups battling the Syrian regime of Bashar al-Assad, who in recent days have become embroiled in bloody infighting. More than 274 people have been killed in the rebel-on-rebel -rebel clashes in Syria since they began on January 3rd. An audio recording released by the leader of the Al-Nusra Front, who goes by the name Abu Mohammed Al-Golani, laid much of the blame for the infighting on the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant. While both groups have roots in the global Islamist network and welcome foreign militants, Al-Nusra has cooperated more with other rebel groups and has largely avoided the power struggles that the ISIL has faced since wrestling control of many opposition-held areas from other groups. Golani proposed forming an Islamic legal council to resolve feuds among the rebels and called for the militants to return to their shared goal of fighting Assad's forces as the campaign to oust the Syrian leader nears the end of its third year. The Syrian war has devolved into a bloody sectarian conflict, with Islamist fighters flooding the borders to fight in what they see as a holy war. Some groups, such as the ISIL, have failed to win support from Syrians who see them as a menace and a threat to their safety.